Hi, this is Stephanie from The Sewing Works, and today we're going to show you how to make these very cute rope baskets with embroidery. Um, one thing to think about as we're going along is your design. You want to make sure that you choose something more on the sketchy shape uh, than like our pig here has a lot of layers of thread in it and so it kind of ends up bumpy on the bottom and doesn't lay really flat. Uh, you can use things with lots of different colors uh, changes but you just want to make sure that it's more of a, a sketchy um, a shape and design than something real dense. Uh, so today we're going to be using some Christmas red work as we get ready for the holidays and we're also going to talk about how to put some fabric around your edges to really uh, accent it and set it off. So let's start by taking a look at the foot that I prefer to use when I'm making these bowls, and that's number 60C. This foot has two little grooves on it, and you can see those right there, which will help us line up our rope as we're sewing it in a circle. You can use your number one foot, uh, but it's a little bit harder to uh, make sure that we're stitching uh, down the center. Uh, so here I'm going to turn you guys around and we're going to get started. So what we're going to be using today is this cotton clothesline. You should be able to find it at your hardware store or your local craft store. The hardest part of getting these rope bowls started is to get the center going. Um, it's easier if you make it a little bit longer, like maybe oval shape, and then fold it over and start stitching. Um, what I've done on the machine made my zigzag stitch as wide as possible and I've made the length of my stitch about a two and a half, two point three, somewhere in there. And then it's just plugging away as we go around and form the bowl. I do happen to know that the embroidery pattern that I'm going to be using on there is about three and a half by four inches. So I want to make sure that I make my base at least three and a half by four inches. So here we go. Okay, so I think that's going to be big enough. Once you have your base made, you're ready to put on your embroidery module and get going. So in my hoop I have a piece of stable stick and I just scored it and peeled the top layer of paper off so that my uh, rope bowl bottom will stick to it and not slide around when I'm stitching. My bobbin is white and my top thread, because it's a red work, I just have red on there. And we're going to be decorating it with some Christmas fabric. But if you uh, have something with several different color changes, then you want to make sure your machine is threaded for the first change. The next thing on my screen that I'm going to do is I'm just going to verify that the center of my poinsettia is in the center of my bowl. And then we are ready to stitch. embroidered uh, poinsettia. You can from here do a couple different things. Uh, you can just leave it as a trivet or we can gradually sew up the side so we have a nice gradual uh, bowl or we could really make these uh, edges steeper and make it a, a steeper bowl. Uh, we are going to turn this one into a bowl so you can see how to do that uh, but it probably is going to be just a gradual one with a real low uh, edge so more of a platter shape maybe. A couple things on stabilizer with this. I did just use a tearaway staple stick so on the back I'm going to want to try to tear away as much of that as possible. Uh, if you were to use a sticky back wash away stabilizer, then once you're done sewing your project, then you would be able to get it wet and kind of form your bowl and then wash away that extra. So let's take a look at what's next. 
So I have prepped a couple strips of Christmas fabric that I'm going to wrap around some of my clothesline just to add a little extra decoration. Um, and deciding what size uh, width I cut my fabric, as I looked at how wide my uh, clothesline was, and then gave myself some extra just so I can really wrap it around there. And we're gonna put a little bit of fabric glue on there just to hold it in place. So I'm gonna sew a little bit more, get my uh, curve started, and then we'll put on some fabric. up the edge of my bowl you can see a little bit of a curve the higher up you hold it the more steep that curve is going to be if I were just to gradually hold this bowl up I would get a much smoother softer curve but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on a piece of fabric so I've got my glue on the back of my fabric and I'm just going to wrap the fabric around my clothesline and once I get it wrapped then I'm just going to put it under and I'm going to start sewing again you can, if you feel like it, put another piece of uh, glue there at the end. Which I'm going to use a little glue dot here. So here's my start of a new base, and we're just going to keep sewing around the edge of my bowl and then um, attach it once we get to the end. And I just kept my zigzag going and went right on top of all those layers. So there you go. There's a cute little Christmas bowl. Good for Christmas cookies. Thanks, guys.